For most people, the first step in learning how to knit is making a slip knot. You make a little knot, you put it on the needle, and then you cast on your stitches. But turns out the slip knot isn't completely necessary. First, I'll show you how to do the new method, and then we will compare two pieces of knitted fabric, one begun with a slip knot and one without, and we'll take a look at how they differ from each other. In order to start this way, you still need the same length of tail that you would for any regular long tail cast on, but instead of making the slip knot, you're just going to insert your thumb and index finger under the yarn like this, spread it apart, take your needle, and simply put it through the top, swing it around, and come back up. I'll do that again. The needle goes on top of the yarn and then under towards your thumb and back up so that it's twisted like this. That's your first stitch and then you just continue casting on the way you normally would as if you had a slip knot. I was taught to start with a slip knot, and for a long time that was the only way I ever taught anyone else. But recently I was teaching an eight year old how to knit, and she was kind of struggling with the slip knot, so I said, You know what? There's another way. Let's give it a try and see if you like it any better. And she did. And then I started teaching her brother, also, who is seven, and he was struggling with this method. So I said, hey, let's try a slip knot. And that worked better for him. I honestly don't see a huge difference between these two. I marked this one with a knot so that I couldn't forget which was which. So this one was done with a slip knot and this one was done without. And yeah, there's not a huge difference. If I feel the corners, this one feels a little bit softer, whereas this one has kind of a hard, I guess, a knot that I'm feeling right there. But to the naked eye, it's not a big difference. I guess the only real difference that I can see is that this one has a sharper corner and this one is more rounded. So you may want one over the other at different times. And like I always say, it's just great to know your options and to be able to see how they differ from each other. How are you taught and which way works better for you? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're just trying to get started learning how to knit, but you feel like you need a little bit more direction, I have a whole online course that is just for you, my friend. You can learn more about it on my website. So head over to BeccaJNorman.com courses and you can read all about it.